Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor Mitchell, and I'm back with another top five video as part of 24 days of Tech Summer. Today, we're looking at the top five drones that you can get for this holiday season. So anyway, let's get into it. So the first drone is coming in small, and it is the Parrot Rolling Spider drone. Coming in at $100, this is not supposed to be your professional drone. It connects to your iPhone or Android device, and what it does is it's basically kind of a drone with training wheels. So that way you can get used to flying a drone around without completely destroying something. What I like about this drone is that the flight is pretty easy to handle, but even for those times you don't, you have these two giant plastic wheels on the side that will keep the drone from bumping around should it fall out of the sky. Now, if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous and willing to put up a little bit more money, the Parrot Bebop drone will definitely suit you perfectly. Now at $500, this drone is clearly a whole lot more expensive than the Parrot Rolling Spider. However, the benefits that you get with this drone are real. It comes with a 1080p recording fisheye lens, so you can see everything this drone sees. And because this camera is a fisheye lens, you can actually move and pan around without moving the actual camera or drone itself. Now it has built-in GPS, so that way you can obviously control this drone from very high altitudes. And of course, with GPS built-in, it will have a return home feature. And if you're willing to put forward 400 more dollars, you actually get a much more sophisticated remote control. One that actually has two physical joysticks and you can put your iPhone, your iPad, or any other Android tablet or phone in the center so that way you can see what's going on. It even comes with a range extender so that way you can fly this drone up to two kilometers away. Next up is the Hexo Plus drone. This is a drone that is completely autonomous. There are no remote controls for this drone. You simply have an app and you command this drone to do different types of movements that you would want it to do. So say I want it to pan around me or I want it to do a tracking shot going inwards or outwards. I program that on my phone, I press start and it will instantly go up, record and do that exact motion and once it finishes, it will come right back and land itself automatically. And of course, all of this is based on the location of your phone, so it will actually follow you around, so that way you don't have to worry about losing it somewhere in the distance. So this is going to be a drone that makes flying drones a whole lot safer, and will hopefully give us a lot fewer instances that result like this. The 3D Robotics has had a lot of drones in the past, but the 3D Robotics Solo looks to be their big one. So what they've done is they have taken their controller and they have turned it into something that looks a lot more like a video game than anything else. This allows you to do motions very much like the Hexo Plus can do. You can have an orbit mode, you can have a cable feature where it will only go within a certain area, or you can have a follow feature where it will actually follow the flyer of the drone. And a really big feature of this drone that you can take advantage of should you have a GoPro is that you can actually control the GoPro from the remote. So this drone directly interfaces with the GoPro and you can directly interface through the drone to control the settings of the GoPro and even start and stop recording. And of course there is an optional gimbal so that way you can get very steady shots while using your GoPro. And finally, Everyone knows the DJI Phantom, but everyone wants to get their hands on a much cheaper version. So the DJI Phantom Standard is the one for you. It comes in at $700, so it is much, much cheaper than the other options out there. Of course, it comes with GPS-enabled flight assistance, so that way you're not losing it in the distance and it can hold a steady position when you're flying it. And it also gets up to 25 minutes of flight time, so that way you're not going to go into the air and then five or 10 minutes later, you're going to have to land. And then of course, for $500, you can get the professional version, which shoots full 4K video. So anyway, guys, those are my top five drones for this holiday season. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe for more top fives, part of 24 days of tech -sember. Anyway, guys, I've been Connor Mitchell, and I will catch you guys at the next top five. See you then.